Welcome to the Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT course. This is the first module of the course, Course Introduction. Use the Next button to start with this module. The Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT is based on the Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT Candidate Syllabus from Axelos. The syllabus is available in the Self Study Guide. It is also provided under Additional Documents. The course addresses the specifics of digital transformation and helps organizations to evolve towards a convergence of business and technology or to establish a new digital organization. The course contains the Idle 4 concepts and terminology, activities and exercises, examples, and real life cases to help you acquire relevant knowledge to pass the certification exam. The Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT course is designed to enable practitioners to explore the ways in which digital organizations and digital operating models function in high velocity environments. It will help aspiring organizations to operate in a similar way to successful digitally native organizations. The course includes the use of working practices such as Agile and Lean and technical practices and technologies such as cloud and automation. The focus of these practices and technologies is on the rapid delivery of products and services to obtain maximum value. Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT is one of the modules of the Idle Managing Professional Stream. You need to pass the related certification exam for working towards the Managing Professional designation. At the end of the course, you will be able to understand concepts regarding the high velocity nature of the digital enterprise, including the demand it places on IT, understanding the digital product lifecycle in terms of the idle operating model, understand the importance of idle guiding principles and other fundamental concepts for delivering high velocity IT, know how to contribute to achieving value with digital products. The course aims at IT and service management practitioners who work in organizations that are becoming more digitally enabled. It will help those who are familiar with traditional IT and service management concepts to discuss digital confidently, develop practical competencies, and integrate new concepts, techniques, and technologies into their ways of working. You should use this course as a tool to improve how you and your coworkers provide products and services, continually raise your standards of work, trust and are trusted, accept ambiguity and uncertainty, and commit to continual learning. The course includes the primary activities in the digital value chain, including what the practitioner does and the resources they use across the life cycle of digital products, too make the right digital investments, realize and deliver resilient digital products and services quickly, ensure that the service consumer realizes value from those products and services, and assure the conformance of activities with governance, risk, and compliance requirements. The course includes various components to provide you with the required content. The primary component is the modules that contain the core content. The other components include the case study, exercises and activities, and information related to the certification exam. The course also contains learning track components to give you a better learning experience. Let us discuss the importance of each component in detail. The Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT is categorized into three primary sections. One, understanding the basic concepts of high velocity IT. Two, getting familiar with the high velocity IT culture. Three, knowing the high velocity IT objectives and techniques. The various modules of the course contribute to one of these sections. You can also access the course structure from additional documents. The course contains the Axel Car Hire case study to enable you to apply the gained knowledge to a real life situation. Axel Car Hire is intended to show how IDLE can apply high velocity IT concepts 
to an organization that must transform itself in order to meet new challenges. Ensure to go through the case study before moving on to the next modules of the course. It will help you attempt the case study-based exercises at the right time without breaking the flow. The case study is provided in the self-study guide. You can also access it from additional documents. The course contains two types of exercises, module end exercises and case study based exercises. Each module contains an exercise to reinforce the learning of concepts contained in it. These exercises will be application focused and consist of different types of activities. You will perform case study based exercises at the end of modules 5, 12, and 15. These exercises are based on concepts covered in a combination of modules. The exercises will help you apply the high velocity IT concepts to real life situations. You will be planning to take the Idle Force Specialist High Velocity IT Certification Exam at the end of the course. We want to enable you to better prepare for the exams by letting you know about the exam structure. The details are listed on the screen. You should attempt the sample paper included in the self-study guide to have an idea about the type of questions. Glossary of essential key terms is also included in the self-study guide at the start of each module to quickly refer to the important terms. You can also access the sample paper and the consolidated glossary from additional documents. Here comes a tip for you. Use the tip icon to reveal it. The course material also contains learning track components, such as pre- and post-course reading material, practice questions, and quick reference cards. The aim of providing you with learning track components is to enable you to have a great learning experience. Go through the information provided on the screen to know about each component. You can access these components from learning track documents.